Hello guys and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a player that yet again was linked to Luton Town Football Club yesterday. It was highly rumoured that he was going to go to Stoke City, but turns out those rumours are not true. And then more reports about Luton being interested in the player have now come out. And that player is Oscar Zambrano. I feel like I pronounced his last name correctly. If not, we're going to call him Oscar throughout this video, just to make it easier for myself. Oscar Zambrano is a Ecuadorian wonder kid that has been heavily linked to Luton for the last, I feel like, three transfer windows now. We've been linked for him for ages. We're not the only football club that has been linked with this Ecuadorian like superstar. Um, you've got Manchester United have been linked, obviously Stoke recently. A few other Premier League teams and a few teams across Europe have also been linked with this lad. And the reason why is because the potential is up here. You're looking at someone who could be the next potential Kante, Cancido, that type of player. He is a modern day number six, very technical, very good with the ball at his feet. He's very aggressive, he's very quick as well. And someone like that, I feel like Luton kind of need in our team. We're lacking a bit of, you know, maybe pace and energy in that midfield. And this person, this player, who someone who is good with the ball at his feet, who's a good with his passing range, and with the way we like to play our football, could be a really good buy. Now, if Luton was to get Oscar Zambrano, we it would break our transfer club um, fee, um, which was the current is currently on Giles. I think at a range of five million pounds, this would definitely be more than five million. But the reason why this deal maybe hasn't, you know, gone ahead. It's because there's a lot of, I like to say, red flags involved in this deal. There's a lot of, I feel like, agent talking, South American dodgy agency appearing. It does, it does look like that. It looks like a, you know, you know what agents do. They like to talk to media outlets. They like to talk to other clubs. They like to generate interest and do what they need to do to rank up the price of the player so they themselves can get more money. It feels like that is happening. Also, if the deal was to happen, I think the club have to give Oscar Zambrano the money, some of the money um, as part of the contract negotiations. There's also rumours that he failed a drug test. Um, apparently, it was just um, an, an accident with some medication and he got all clear on that. There's a lot of red flags involved in this deal and that's why I feel like the deal hasn't happened yet we also sent one of our top scouts to go over to south america i think in argentina to speak to the parties of oscar and yeah at the moment the deal hasn't happened could it happen this week i don't know but this is someone that a lot of clubs have been after and for good reasons but i feel like off the pitch there's just a lot of you know barriers blocking this deal from happening this lad does look like the real deal when you do watch his highlight videos he does look the real deal and for someone who's actually currently playing in the ecuadorian top division as we speak their their season is underway they are playing at right now if we were to sign him he'd probably be the fittest player within the team because he's already out of pre-season and least i think 10 games into the current season in the Ecuadorian first division but I thought let's just talk about Oscar because it's been rumoured again it's an area of the pitch which I feel like Luton definitely need to recruit in he's definitely something which we don't really have a modern day number six we've got Nakamba who's a very defensive midfielder but I feel like Zambrano he's more of a progressive player he can progress with the ball he can i think is a much better passer um than the camber so i feel like he will add quality and be a great addition within the group i think he would come in and start straight away if i'm being honest with you of course there's always a question mark with foreign players can they come over to england and handle the physical side of things i feel like south american footballers they can i feel like when they because they grew up playing in the streets you know because of how 
poor those those countries are around South America. You grow up in the streets, you play barefoot, you know, I feel like the physical side of things isn't a problem. So it's just whether or not he is at the same quality, because I'm not gonna be honest, we're not all experts in the Ecuadorian top division, but the fact that he's been given a market value of over six million pounds tells me everything I need to know, and he could be Ecuadorian's next big star. So, I'm excited on the possibilities of bringing Oscar in, but whether or not this deal will happen or not is another story, because of all the red flags which I've already mentioned about agencies, the you know the South American media outlets, the the dodgy like we've got to give him money um, to get the deal confirmed. It's a lot of weird little things, and it's coming across like this deal is just going to be too much hassle than it's worth, and we may not actually bring this guy in, or they're going to price us out, and we're not going to pay the money which they want. Because I feel like Luton, we're the one that are leading the race. However, if another club get him, and I felt like we should have got him because we were the one of we are one of the clubs like majorly linked to him, I will be disappointed because we are in need of some players. Rob Edwards has come out and said one or two is likely to come in. Of course, I'm excited to see who those could be. But it's been a very, very slow transfer window for Luton Town in terms of incomings. Yes, we didn't need to make loads of signings because we've currently got a really good group of players at the club who can play in the championship. But when you're seeing players that are linked to go elsewhere, like your Adebayos, your, um, your, your Menjis, your Chongs now, it does get a little bit worrying, when you, especially when you don't bring anyone in. So... And we haven't really spent any money, have we? We've got Walters in and we've got Baptiste in. Both players did not cost a lot. So it's exciting times. Hopefully we do spend some money because we do have some. I just think right now we're being extra picky in the transfer market. But bringing someone like Oscar in, who's got very good potential and you know could later cost in his career if we want to sell him and if he does well well over 50 million that's the level of player i'm talking about because that's how high regarded this lad is then i'm really excited to see that happen but yeah those are my thoughts let me know your um, thoughts down in the comment section do you think we can bring oscar zambrano in would you like to see him if not are you a bit concerned? Let me know. Let, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section of the video. Let me know about the background. I am trying to improve this background. I've got Luton shirts here. I can't do anything about this section of my house. I have my clothing rank, rack behind these shirts. I can't move that. I've got a, a lovely Osho frame. I've got a lovely frame down here, which is about um, which is all the Luton tops. I have a lovely frame here. I'm going to get a scarf to go over the top there. And then I'm also going to get some more frames and posters here. So then we have a major Luton Town corner area. That's the plan. Hopefully you like it. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.